In today's tutorial, I will show you how to use the skeleton component from the Shad CN UI library. This is what the final result will look like. When the data is loading, we will see the skeleton component. And once it's done loading, then we will see the actual data. I will also have a link in the description and in the comments with the exact code from this tutorial. To get started, the first thing we want to do is go to the documentation and look for the skeleton component. Once we're on this page, click installation and copy the command here. Switching over to VS Code, I will now paste the command and hit enter to install the skeleton component. It should look something like this once it's successfully installed. Going back to the documentation, just copy this import command and just make sure you have it somewhere in your file so that we're importing the skeleton UI component. Now I will go through the code to show you how to use the skeleton component. Starting on line three, I just imported the card component from ShadCN UI library. You don't have to use this, but I just use this component for this specific example. Now I'll explain the two different sections of code. One is for fetching the data and the other one is for displaying the data with the skeleton component. I will be focusing more on the code for displaying the data, but I will briefly explain what the fetch data function is doing here. Here I'm setting the loading variable to true so that we know to display the skeleton component. Then we make an API call to this URL and here I just added an extra two second delay so that we can see the skeleton component like on the page for a little bit longer. Then I'm setting the data to this user data variable. Scrolling down I will now explain the code to display the actual skeleton component. Starting on line 61 here is where I'm displaying the actual data using the card component. And so if we go back to the example, you can see here I have the title and then I have the description and then the thumbnail image. Once I had this layout, then what I did is I went back and created the exact same card component. And in the places where the title description and thumbnail are supposed to be, I just replaced it with the skeleton component itself. Then using Tailwind CSS, I just adjusted the width and height so that it would match as closely as possible to the actual content that it was loading. For example, for the thumbnail image, I looked at the width and height of the image itself and saw it was 500 pixels wide and 264 pixels for its height. And so that's why I specified it here where the width would be 500 pixels and the height would be 264 pixels. But you can adjust these as needed based on the content that you're loading. So for example, let's just say my width was 700 and my height was like 444 pixels instead. If I go back to the example, you can see the skeleton component is now a lot bigger. So you can easily adjust it just based on your own needs. That is the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.